Hello students, welcome you all. Now in this lecture, I will discuss about the SN1 dash, SN2 dash and SNI dash reactions in allyl halide. In my previous lecture, I told you about the SN1, SN2 and SNI reaction. But here we are discussing the SN1 dash, SN2 dash and SNI dash reactions. And such reaction, they takes place in a allyl halide. Okay, and one of the main characteristic feature of this reaction, it occurs with the allylic rearrangement. So these reactions, either SN1 dash, 2 dash or I dash, so such reaction occur with allylic rearrangement. With allylic rearrangement. See. Now, so let's take one of the substrate molecule. Suppose if we have this allyl bromide, and this allyl bromide, though this is allyl bromide, but this is primary in nature. We can say this is the bromine atom is. Uh, is uh, attached to the primary car carbon atom. So that's why this is primary in nature. So it should give the SN1, rea SN2 reaction. It should give the SN2 reaction because we have seen the uh, in alkyl halide, the primary alkyl halide gives the SN2 reaction, whereas tertiary alkyl halide gives easily the SN, uh, SN1 reaction. So as this is the allyl halide, though this is primary in nature, so it can also give the SN, uh, SN1 reaction also. Or, and it can also give the SN2 reaction also or SN2 dash reaction. So suppose uh, now, so this allyl halide, this allyl halide, the bromine can leave out and it can give the allyl carbocation. So the bromine can easily leave out and the allyl carbocation can be formed. So driving force for this is formation of carbocation is because this allyl carbocation is resonance stabilized and second thing the bromine can easily leave out also. So this allylic carbocation which is formed, this is resonance stabilized. This is resonance is stabilized and positive charge will come over here like this. Okay. Now this can also be written. The positive charge is delocalized over all these three carbon atoms. Now, so we have two carbocations. We have two carbocation and this carbocation is a rearranged carbocation that we are getting after the resonance. So this carbocation on reaction with nucleophile, this will give no, no doubt the nucleophile will attack over this carbocation and we know that carbocation is a planar species and the nucleophile that's why it can attack from the both side either it can act, uh, attack from this side or it may attack from the this side. So similar to the SN1 reaction that we get where we get the inversion product as well as the retention product in the same way here also when this hydroxide ion it attacks the this allyl carbocation from this side then we will get two type of product inversion product as well as the retention product. So the product that we will get the OH will come here at this carbon the OH will attack and this is the normal product. This is the normal product similar to the SN1 product. This is, we can see this is SN1 type of product. Okay. Whereas, if the nucleophile, if same nucleophile is coming in this case, then it will no doubt it will attack at this side. And again, we will get the two type of product, inversion product as well as the as well as the retention product because this is the planar species and in plane 
the nucleophile can attack from this side or it may attack from this side. So that's why uh, here we will get the rearranged product because this is a rearranged carbocation. So that's why the product that we will get will be rearranged product. So we may write it is rearranged product and this rearranged product and so when we get this product then the path that we should write is SN1 dash path. So this is SN1 dash product. So this is your SN1 product, this is SN1 dash product. So only difference between this SN1 and SN1 prime is only this much. So one main thing is that this SN1 prime, SN1 prime reaction, it occur in allyl halide via rearrangement reaction. So this is the only say this is two step reaction. We can say this is a two step reaction. This is a slow step similar to the SN1 reaction and no doubt this is a fast step. This is fast step and no doubt this is a fast step. And such reaction it is favored in polar medium. If we have a polar medium and such reaction would be favored. So polar why? Strongly polar medium be required because this carbocations are easily stabilized in a polar medium. That's why such reactions are favored in polar medium. Because, but whereas, but this same allyl halide, same allyl halide can also undergo SN2 or SN2 dash reaction also. So let's see. And we know that this SN2 reaction, it is, it is single step reaction and only the inversion product is formed in SN2 reaction. So now how the inversion product is formed? So the nucleophile will attack from the back side. Now so in this reaction if we have OH minus, if we have OH minus or in a single step, in a single step SN2 reaction will take place in this allyl halide. So if we, if the nucleophile attack here, if the nucleophile attack here, then what we will get? We will get the this product. It is similar to the SN2 product. So the product that we are getting here is the SN2 product and which is the normal product that we can write. This is our normal product. Normal product. Whereas Whereas if same nucleophile may attack from this side also, the same nucleophile may attack from here also. Okay, so when the nucleophile attacks from this side, then this is called as our, this is called as SN2 prime product because this product is obtained after rearrangement. So this is also a rearranged product. Okay. So this is about the SN1 prime and SN2 prime reaction which you have seen it is taking place in allylic compounds, allylic halide. Now if suppose let's see this SNI dash reaction. In SNI reaction what I told you, such reaction takes place in alcohol. Now suppose if we have a alcohol, if we have a alcohol, allylic alcohol. So this allylic alcohol in presence of SOCl2, we know that if we have a simple uh, alkyl, uh, if we have simple alcohol, then the uh, OH is replaced by the Cl, OH is replaced by the chlorine and the retention of configuration takes place in SNI reaction. But here in this case, when we are getting the rearranged product, then we call it a SNI reaction. So here in this reaction, the this chlorine, this chlorine will attack over this carbon. When chlorine attacks over this carbon, then it is SNI reaction. If chlorine attacks on this carbon, then this is called as the SNI dash reaction. So two products are formed in this case. One of the product that we will get 
is this is one of the product another product that we are getting is this would be the another product so this is the rearranged product this is rearranged product and this is our normal product and so that's why it is called as sni product and this is called as sni prime product this is called as the sni prime product so the mechanism for this is already I have discussed the mechanism so sni the nucleophilic substitution nucleophilic internal substitution nucleophilic internal so already we have discussed uh, the mechanism of such reaction in my previous lecture so thank you this is about the <clears throat> SN1 dash, SN2 dash and SNI dash reactions. Thank you.